Well, good morning everybody out there in YouTube world. I put these little videos on at 6 a.m. about every other day if possible, just so you can have your morning coffee and check out what's new in G. Rathman's life. There'll be some motorcycle stuff, there'll be some uh, home improvement stuff, here in the background, a snoring dog once in a while. So, I hope you enjoy this channel. I hope you find something that you're very interested in. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, guys. Hope this didn't get damaged. The big box. Ah, uh, we got another project going on. We got two. I had to quit on the concrete because I had to start putting some money into uh, the RV because we're going to be doing a lot of dry camping. Uh, I might have mentioned in other videos, but we got uh, Charlie Blood and his wife Cassandra. They're coming out to visit, uh, which is going to be cool. Uh, I really like, you know, you YouTube people are, are better friends to me than you would understand because you're just all great guys for one thing, all you guys that are following me, and I appreciate it uh, a lot. Uh, but let me, let me uh, get into what we got here. This is from uh, the Jungle Place, the old Amazon River Place. Uh, this is Bugle Tape. This is going to be used on the next project. You're going to see that uh, when it's supposed to get here tomorrow. Hopefully we can get it, everything put on in the next day or two. Then that video will be fired in here. All these are going to go probably out of sync because we had so many vacation pictures uh, taken. But this looks like good tape. Uh, I thought I had bugle tape here. But it is so old. If I do have it, I'd rather buy new. It's only like 12 bucks. This will go under the vent. You'll see that pretty. You'll see that in the next video. But right here, what we got? This one here, I should be able to show you the whole full Monty. As soon as I can figure out how to open it. Like I said, we're working on the RV. Okay, maybe that way. All right, this is a big box. Let's see which way. Uh, oh, that way. Okay. 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 Ah, ah, heavy. Renergy! Huh! It's heavy. I'll give it that. And this is this is supposed to be portable. <laughs> okay, let me turn it around here. I have used Renergy products. Here I am. Here. I've used Renergy products before and they're good quality. Uh, we had a Renergy uh, solar system. Uh, put on the, our uh, fifth wheel. Some of you probably remember that. Uh, loves your RV. Ray from Loves Your RV. Yeah. He's not only a, uh, I follow his channel, but he's also a friend of mine. Uh, we've met on the road and then he stops by every time he's in town, which is awesome. He's, he's the one that got me going on Renegy uh, Solar Systems and that's what I'm going to, that's what this is. That's what we're going to use and I'll show you the last one was a, oh shoot, I don't know how much it cost now. It was a thousand dollars back in the day. And this is not back in the day as we all know. Everything is very expensive now. Now I've not opened it as you noticed. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that there now. Okay, don't even need the knife. And here's the reason I bought this one this time. Like I said, it's portable. There you go. Now that can't get much more. Is there anything in there? Nope. Okay, we get rid of the box. Okay, get rid of these. I bet I can use that for something. You know me. All right, there it is. That's the system right there. It is uh uh, 25 this way and 36 that way and uh, so this is going to fold up and we're just going to carry it in the RV uh, and then uh, I think I'll take it outside before I open it I'll take you guys out there with me 
and we'll check it out and we'll hook it up. And then before I plug it in, I'm going to end up getting two cameras because I'm going to aim uh, this one here at the little control box I got inside the RV and then we'll have another one doing the filming. So I'm going to take this outside. You guys just take a break right here for about that long. Well, it ain't as light as I thought it was going to be. But then again, it's 200 watts of power. And uh, let's see what she looks like. Supposed to just be able to, I think, turn it on. Open it up, turn it on. I'm going to, uh, yeah, we'll take it out of the bag. Nice bag. Now then, we got to figure out if there's a bottom and a top. Uh, got some latches right here. Holds it all together. I'm hoping the rest of the parts are inside folded up in it. They are. Okay, and this is the top. Alrighty. That was just too sunny over there. Uh, so far, I haven't done anything yet. Except for I hooked these cables into these cables. Pretty simple. Red and red and black and black. And you got an extra cable there. Now, that ain't very much cable. Depends on where you want to set this. That looks like probably... Oh, eight foot of cable there plus what's wrapped up there so you can only get about eight foot away from that thing that's why one of the things I heard that people didn't like needed more cable with it but I'm gonna give it a try because that thing's only eight foot across so like it should be able to sit it on either side by tossing it underneath but this is what we got going so far now I'm gonna find out before you start you gotta be careful with this stuff well, we lost a lot of the video here, so I'm going to have to describe it to you and uh, use this still photo. Right there, you see those two plug-ins there. Well, if you unplug the, either one of them, probably the positive would be best. And then you can set that thing in the sun, and it ain't going to overcharge. It ain't going to ruin your little controller or nothing. So unplug that one. Then you hook it up to your batteries. Then... Turn it. You can have it into the sun at that point if you want, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And then when everything's hooked up, then you can plug in them, the positive cable right there where my finger's pointing. Right above that pointed finger is where this is. And to program this, you want to make sure it's on the right battery. you got all types of batteries. Well, you hold that bottom blue button there. For three to five seconds, I think it was. And it will, once you're hooked up to your battery, it will start searching for your battery type. And it's smart enough, it figured mine out. And uh, so, that you got to do that to get the right battery. It's simple. Then you're ready to go on to the next step here. Well, guys, I got, uh, got rid of my three-legged helper, and I got my two-legged helper there right my lovely, wonderful wife came out to help. Okay, we're going to aim this to the sun. We're going to see what happens. Uh, about the time I get it aimed to the sun, you know what? The sun's going to go away. Sure as heck. Let's see what we got pumping out here. That says it's putting, uh, the battery is 12.9. Now i got a bumblebee. <laughs> uh, now it's up to 13. It's go. It's putting it in. All the lights here are flashing. Let me. I'm gonna get a video of this too. We'll cut in with that. It is hot and it is bright out here today. Your hair is glowing. Is it glowing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's what this controller is doing. See how that thing's strobing at the top? And this uh, AGM, I found out, that's my little lead batteries. Little Walmart suckers. She's throwing in some voltage. That sun, that's great. That's what we want. Now I can change the settings on that and read more. But all I need to do is know it's charging. And that's what it's doing there. So, thank you, Vicki. You're welcome. You want me to blur this part out? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go in the house and see what she's doing. But she's charging the battery right now. Let's go check out the other camera.
Well, you can watch the meter here change as I'm hooking it up outside. And the sun, well, it's already hooked up, but the sun is changing uh, intensity. And you can see it's charging quite well. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. So uh, this camera was fixed, and it did the whole thing. But I'm showing you this piece here. And then I'm going to walk in here and talk to you about it right now. But I like that. 13-1 charge. That ain't bad. Well, there's the camera setup that you just watched. We're just going to have to leave that on there and watch it and see what happens. Well, just as I got it set up, the sun went behind the cloud. <laughs> I wanted to show you this thing. This, this is waterproof. This is your controller. It a velcros up to here. So you can pull it down and uh, look at it or, and then put it back up here out of the way. So the main thing when you're hooking this up, just program it and all. Give me, give me, give me out of there. And make sure you hook the battery up to this. Keep that in the shade if possible. You know, lean it against there. Hook it all up, then point it towards the sun. That's your main thing. And that was the main thing on my other Trinity G1 too. You want to hook up the batteries first. So, anyway, I think it's going to work great. As soon as the sun comes out again. Wouldn't you know it. A little more information. I uncurled all of the cable. And that's about 11 feet from right here to right over to the battery there. So 11 feet. This rig is uh, 8 feet wide. So I could shoot it on the other side if the sunlight's over there. I can shoot it forward on my rig. Wherever the sun is, I think I'll be able to hit it without extensions. But if you got one of them big RVs like uh, my buddy Charlie has, you may need to get longer cords. But this is going to work for me. I'm going to leave this sit out here. We're going to see if she can charge up both those batteries. Uh, right now it says 13.2. I don't and, and, and let's see if it is charging still. Yep, she's still throwing the old juice in it. Uh, it says it's 100%. Maybe, no, not quite. There's 100% right there. You can see that. Yeah, it's only a quarter. So it's still putting some in. I haven't charged that bat them batteries in quite some time. So anyway, it's, it's working. What can I say? It's working. Matter of fact, the legs on this one are backwards from the one they showed in the instructions but it doesn't matter it, yeah. it works so that's the end of this video i think it's going to work dandy the next video we're going to be up on top of the roof i'll show you that but uh, i'll try to describe how to push these buttons it's real simple really you got these two buttons right here and that's how you set everything with them two buttons there uh Renogy, they got a really good knowledgeable guy on their website with a video. Probably be better to go look at that video than this one. This one's just going to show you more or less. Yes, it is what you pay for. Yes, this is 10 to 11 feet long. And uh, it's working right out of the box. That's what this video is about. And uh, yeah, it'll work. I hope we'll find out. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I just noticed after reviewing this video, I did not uh, tell you how well it was built. Well, it's very well built. Uh, it's about $350 or more for this unit. And uh, like I said, it's very well constructed. If it works as good as my old unit uh, on my other RV, I'm going to have no complaints at all with it. Uh, the only reason I don't have the other one, well, it was bolted on. So I had to leave it when I sold the RV. But that's why I got a portable one this time. We can keep this one no matter what. Subscribe, guys. You know what to do. Hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't.